I shot his last hand before he was old. Yeah. What's that? I mean, he's in the hands of each. He's hoping I have Ace King on that board or Ace Queen. Yeah, he definitely should. Yeah, I'm saying Ace King. I should have just said. I just said, 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 I just
Good luck, Big Blaine. Thank you, Rick. Go with the ball champ. Corey with Kings. Uh oh. Nines. I think we're going to see Paul get in trouble here. Oh, I'm thinking we might see Mark shove here, though. I know that. I know that. Oh, good fold. That's Paul's great. That's his guy. We might see Paul. If we see Paul raise here, we could, depending on what. Corey's definitely going to get all his money in the pot. My switch all in. Paul moves all in with nines. Oh, Rob oh, thinking oh, about oh, seven eight. Don't blame me on that. Oh, Jesus Christ, what do you got? I have such bad luck against you, Corey. Uh, I already sucked out once. So Wait, I'm putting my glasses on for this one. I don't want to see all the more. All right, well Dan, you have to call. You uh, call the clock. It's a nine on the turn. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. That's However, that's you do that to me? Paul it's should still me. have roughly eight or nine thousand. You can only predict that. If he does, in fact, lose. One, one player at risk. He's about 25% um, to survive or, or to take Corey out here. No help. Nine and a nine only. Two outs left. Paul's six percent. Kings. Great sound effects in there. Take it down. And no one likes me. No one likes you, Dan. I just wanted to take it back and park your base. No. Ed Dak first. Mark with eights, Rob with ace jack. I think we're going to see a big pot here. Oh. No, you do that because you don't want to call. Well, I don't think you can make things explain. Huh? So I'm not even going to explain here. That's what? It's 46 all in. All in for Robert, 4,600. All right. Mark, all right. Mark pushes all in. At risk. Eights versus ace jack. Eight. Let's see if Mark can Corey. finally win a hand here. Oh, man. There's going to be a king 10 on the flop. Oh, you got the sauce on one right there. Are you and then... Eight River Queen. Then there's gonna, no, then there's gonna be a nine. So he's gonna be open. Corey trying to predict what we're looking at here. Oh. Jack in the window. Mark is running awful. <laughs> it's a definite race though. Oh, it's against Ace. Well, yeah, yeah, but he's lost a lot of them. I can't control it. You are insane. And I couldn't have controlled that. A few people understand that I cannot control the cards. I understand. Dan, quit controlling the cards, Dan. We have to write that into the rules. I will shake Crafton and all his supporters. Leaves Mark very (laughs) short-staked. Already. All my athletic supporters. <laughs> See if Corey tries to steal here. Action on Corey. Is to 1600. Well, <clears throat> I'd love to see Ed just re pop him here. Screaming, come on, <laughs> hang on, crap. Me. There's a possibility he might be doing anything. Yeah. I don't know. 
Ed calls. Is it just a call? It's a car. No, I thought he called someone from around. No, it's trained. It doesn't mean my truck's currently Yeah. And Ed flops top pair. Let's see how ballsy Corey gets. Yeah, most random car. If I made 14 grand. Corey bets 1,700. A bus pass? I'd do something. I'd do something. Ed looking pained about having top pair top kicker here. This is just a hand where you gotta go with it. I mean, you call a pre flop raise and flop top pair, top kick. What are you hoping to hit? And I'm not sure. What do you? What can you put Corey on here? There's yeah. not a lot that you that's can. That's hey, it. Yeah, that's just it's a terrible play. Yeah, that's just awful there on that pull. If you're going to flop top pair, why would you fold a raise if you flop top pair, top kicker, and then fold? Well, close and fat. Actually, on Paul Moskowitz to act first. I, I think he was just waiting for this ace queen Mark here. with a king queen and with an ace king. Mark all in with 1900. This is what he's waiting for. Ed here. Ed all in. Mark continuing to run bad here. Mark needing a 10. Or running clubs. Mark needing a 10 and a 10 only. And with four clubs on the board, Ed takes it down with aces. Paul would like to pound him. Pound me, Mark. Do it, Mark. That's your consolation prize. Pound me. People are watching. You know what I mean? Not a button here? Yeah. Paul with a king queen suited. Yeah, I came out the womb this Suited Dan with an ace four. 
head with pseudo connector. Yeah. After seeing him, yeah, I don't think Mark's going to be stopping by. Mark's going to exit before the exit interview is conducted. Sue Dan calls. Paul Moskowitz pushes all in. Mark a little frustrated tonight. Sue Dan Foltz. Definitely understand. That's like a joke from the Predator. So I said my wife told me. Sue Dan Foltz, a king, queen, suit. Do you remember that from the Predator? I personally had my worst drink of poker this this in its entirety this past week, so not a lot can be done. Sometimes you just run bad. What, you mad I didn't call you? Corey to act first. Corey with fives. So pretty sure we'll see him be in this hand. That's hmm? a reason. Dan with a queen nine off. He's really tightening up. I think he's playing for the points now. Paul oh, folds. Ten jack suited. Not a hand I would fold easily there. Robert calls. So we're pushing Bobby down and now we're pushing Mark down. Dan, correct. It is anybody's race at this point. Train. Corey should not be very afraid of this flop. <laughs> chugga, chugga. Corey bets 2,200. Robert says Jack King. I like Corey's bet size, and I'll tell you that. <laughs> right next to him. Because the beard is so good. Yeah, the beard. The beard. The beard. The beard. Yeah, and that's it. Or if I lay his head like this, it kind of. I'm not afraid to play some pots. A lot of these, you'll see these guys over bet pots and huge raises to just take down the blinds. Ed to act first. Two minutes, 20 seconds left in the blinds. Blinds are 400, 800. We had to uh, reprimand the guy at the uh, facility. All right, suited Dan with the shower, jack eight of clubs. But it seems like everybody's got clubs this hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, that Suda is a conversation. Dan is here. Yeah, All Dan's absolutely school, tightened up. Uh, you know, one day I'm going to have to do this. All those years of education. <laughs> Robert <laughs> calls 800. Well, thank God. The Sir, clinical director please deposit it elsewhere. <laughs> Corey Texas option. Rob flops two pair and checks. Corey's going to put a bet out here, it looks like. Eleven hundred bet by Corey. Call. Call by Robert. Both Rob players check. Two pair and an open ended straight draw. That's a 10. Oh, that's a jacket. <laughs> oh. At least I had the balls to call. Yep. Yeah. One minute left in these blinds. Jack in a small blind. Oh, I love when he does that. Now Dan's coming in with King Eight suited, but he won't play Jack Eight suited. Or King Queen suited. That's a sweet little See how much Corey raises here from the small blonde. Where do I begin? <laughs> it's going to be Raised to 2400 by Corey. Looks like a three times the big blind bet. Just when I think suited Dan is tightened up, he makes suited calls. a really loose call.
Corey bets 2,500. Dan can't put him on a 7 or 3 here. However, he, he doesn't feel that his king is good, and he lets it go. 5 and 3. 5 and 1,000, guys. I don't think Corey's ever raising out of position there after Dan limps in or anywhere where King Eight's good. Exxon Moscow stack first. Ball with tens. He'll ship it here. Paul is all in. Suited may call. I would call a lot of people at the table, but I would not call Paul here. I'm ready to gamble. Dan, ready to gamble, calls with Dan his calls. A7. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a gamble here. Oh, I lost a ten Paul's going to win time. this uh, two-thirds of the time. How about an eight? Paul oh, sweating again. One more like that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh! Ace on the river. Ace on the river. Not even the heart. More out of the heart. Oh. Shot through the heart. 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 Corey to act first. Set, I'm ready to gamble. I'm tired of everyone folding them all in. Who wants to play for 8,000? We're playing for 8,000. Just like that. And we're on the bubble. Rob with King 9. Corey with King Jack. Ed with 5-9 five nine, five nine clubs here. Shoot a Dan with 8-3. I'm not now. sure what he'll Corey do. Corey races to 2,200. Nope. You might like that. 83 and above. <laughs> Announcing hands during the live calls. action. Terrible. Suda Dan is not currently in this hand. His cards just have not mugged yet. There we go. Robert checked. Corey throws out a bet. Corey bets again. Corey's image definitely enables him to take a lot more pots down. Um, could be the exact same thing Paul could do, but I think Corey has more gumption to bet. The first thing I saw was it was black, and I thought, Right. And then I went, oh, it's an ace. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the market. <laughs> Ed Dak first. Corey with King Jack. Ed with 10 Jack. Welcome, Paul. Ed all in. Ed moves in with 10. I got nothing to say. <laughs> Of course you do. <laughs> How do you feel about Dan's call there with the A7 hearts? Well, I, I'm still f ticked at uh, Corey waking up with kings on my on my push. Uh, that, you know, I was just hoping to just take it down there. I, you know, I finally got some chips to, um, you know, take some pots down, and uh, I wake up. Uh, you know, he wakes up with kings there. Um, I've done this, had an all-in with him in a previous game, and he had aces. It just, and he was the last person I needed to give chips to, because uh, uh, he'll just keep betting out on it. And then, uh, you know, Dan, <laughs> uh, 
Good for him. Good for him for being rewarded for that crazy call. Well, that's twice tonight it's happened to him. Um, for, from my point of view, I see that you and Corey seem to have a very similar style, waiting for hands, waiting for hands, and I think at that point um, the waiting just kind of paid off for him. Well, and it paid off for me. I mean, I was chip leader after the break, and I, I could have really, uh, you know, I didn't need to put myself in that kind of predicament if I lost the hand, but, um, you know, Corey called it flawed logic, but I, you know, I... I had a, a medium pocket pair uh, with two people after me, and I thought with my chip stack I would take it down. I mean, that, that from absolutely. My, from my perspective, I you know anything you know if he doesn't have a big pocket pair, I take that down and we move along. Um, and then I don't have to push all in when I get my pocket tens. Robert Allen. You can also raise it up there and find out a lot of the same information. Uh, yeah, no, I usually could have done that, um, but. I, I really didn't even want to see a flop. You know, I didn't want to see a flop. Um, well, what you do there, I think, is if you don't want to see a flop, make a 4X raise. Robert tagged first. Well, well, the, the downside to that is once he commits chips, and Corey's stack was slight. I, I'm not sure. I think Corey had around 5,000 to 6,000 no, chips. Yeah, it was half my stack. You were sitting. You were sitting at 14.8 when Corey was at 5. So if if you bet probably about half his stack, which is which is any raise at that point, 2,400 is, is a you know is three times a big blind, and I, I think get you the can same information. So Corey no raises to well, 2,200. Yeah, well, yeah, what he's saying is I didn't realize his stack was that small. Yeah, you you you. You're com- you're committed to call his all in anyway. So I, th- I think the downside is at, at that point destiny just says Moskowitz is is going to lose some chips here. Yeah, and then uh, and then that the tens and him you know suited Dan you know he did the same thing against Bobby. I mean made a, just a crazy call, um, you know an all in call like that and and he got rewarded for it. I mean I dodged four cards. I didn't think. Uh, uh, he hit it on the river, but he did, and uh, I went from chip leader to being the next one out, and I wasn't real happy about it. Yeah. Not happy about it at all. I think we might see an all-in in the call here. Do you feel like next time, Paul, that you might open up a little bit more earlier to uh, to try and build a bigger chip stack, or, or are you happy with the way you're building your chip stack? Well, no, my, my cards uh, really sucked, um, and the only time I had uh, decent, reasonable playing hands, somebody would raise uh, before me, you know, a 3x raise before me, and I just simply didn't want to call with them because my chip stack started to get low. Um, there was a very aggressive play there tonight. I, I, I never saw that many all-ins um, in the first um, uh, blind or for the first uh, level before break as we did tonight. Um, Robert at risk. Here. It was just very aggressive, and I really I went through a string of really bad cards. <laughs> Those aces though helped me big time when uh, I beat um, Ed. I really. Th- I really thought I was uh, set up to win tonight. All kinds of hold up, hold up, hold up, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and with a deuce, Robert is eliminated in fourth place. With a deuce and a uh, expletive there too. <laughs> but but Paul, do you feel like you might uh, you might try and steal pots uh, next game? Well, did, did you see the one I did with the two three? Today? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but but, yeah, no. but but when you tried to. No. You, and then you ripped like you had the ace. So you, the ace flopped out, and you checked the flop, yeah, tell the boys giving the somebody a chance to hit something. I was wondering why you did that. I mean, if you're going to raise with 2-3 and rep like you got a big A and an ace. Well, you did raise with 2-3 and get two callers, which is an absolute nightmare for those hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a, um, I went through that with my seven dues last week. However, however, there are some hands that, that, that I want to question is, is that you, you played, I, I think, sixes at one point. And you made a raise pre-flop, and there was a 7-10-3 on the flop. Um, so to those Did, uh, two other chips? cards, it, it seemed like you were... Well, somebody came out and, um, and bet. Yeah. No, oh, no, after the check turn, they flop, bet. And, yeah. and they did... Um, I believe they had a jack on the turn, but but what made you? I forget think what my chip stack. I, my, my chip stack might have. See, at that point, I almost feel like I'm going to be committing my chips. I think I was only down to like four thousand at that point. Um, that might have had something to do with that. I can't remember what my chip count was right at that point. I, I, I didn't want to bluff at that point. Um, you know, 
You were ahead. Well, I know that now. Grand hindsight. Yeah. Battle of three here. But I'll tell you what. When I when I when my chip stack gets dwindles, I you know I need to. I'm just more cautious. Absolutely. Boy, I was rooting for an eight. Corey raises to 2,300. Okay. So Robert's going to relieve me here. Ed all in. So turn off the microphone. No. <laughs> Ed, moved, Ed moves all in with Jack three. That's because he saw Catrafello. Uh, yeah. Corey's, Corey's been raising a ton with nothing. No, I know. That's why I was so sorry to give him chips because I knew he would start. Uh, that he uses them to his advantage. Well, Corey's image definitely allows him to do such a thing. <laughs> Corey to um, act first. He, He's what we'll call a young Paul Moskowitz. That's what I'm going to refer to to him as. Corey, from here on out, will be young Paul. Twenty two hundred raised by Corey. Young Paul raises to twenty two hundred. Paul would never raise twenty five, so we got to quit saying that. He's young Paul though. This is this is Paul See with gumption. Calls? Paul with balls. This is this is where we want Paul to I wouldn't be recognize twenty years that. ago. Just not so, ago, not so much beard. Twenty years ago he was shirtless in Miami or Daytona Beach. Four thousand bet by Sudan. Sudan says, You've got nothing, I'm taking it down with an ace. Let's see if Corey plays back at him. I've seen him do it several times. Tries to uh, tries to get a read on Dan, but all I see is fold in his future. Five minutes, 17 seconds left in the blinds. Well, that's his king high go. <clears throat> Don't by, by Dan pays off. Ed to act first. <laughs> I do believe if Ed wins this season, we should get to shave his head into a mullet. Oh, that's he's had it. You can In tell. In fact, when I first met Eddie, he had the uh, <laughs> yeah, full-blown mullet. Yeah, you sweet. can tell he's had the mullet. Well, so did Dan Dan first. A whole lot, yeah. Just a couple points, yeah. I thought. Corey's, Corey, Corey's going to lead after Corey will be in. I think uh, Dan wins. I think Dan wins. I think Dan wins. Well, if he, if he finishes, he Corey finish. is three points ahead of Dan. If Dan wins and Corey takes second today, uh, Dan will be one point ahead of. Or yes. It'll be tied. No, there's a twenty-four. There's a three-point difference. There's a three-point difference, but the point difference between twenty-two hundred raised by Corey. Two points. Three. Twenty-seven. Twenty. Twenty-seven is first place. Right. If Dan finishes first. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Finish second. I was thinking second. He'll be tied. Rooting for Ed here. Ed for the win. Um, if Ed does win this, it is it's going to tighten up this race a whole lot more. Paul, unfortunately, you're gonna you're gonna fall a little bit today. Yeah, you're out of it. You're never out. Corey to act first. I know I'm not a winner. I was, I was actually looking today to, to at least, I wanted to try to at least finish in the top. Right. I know there's no You might be. Right. Corey with well, Ace King here and been raising. Today. Runner, runner, runner. Three Raised to 2,200 by Corey. <laughs> just, just laughing at you. So we laugh at Paul here in the back. I finally get to the Paul irate in the back room, breaking things and, and damning them. And no, Paul, don't hit Paul. Settle down. 
Shut the cameras off, please. Hide the sharp ob objects. Paul's going crazy back here. Hmm? I think Dan's got uh, to leave. Dan and Corey. Yeah. Ed calls. See if Dan calls. Corey checks his option. Everybody's in. Two to Dan flops top pair. The other two flops second pair. See if Susie Dean can I'll put this down. Two thousand bet by Corey. Ed calls. And Dan's just gonna let him bet. So see what Dan does here. He lets the best hand go. <laughs> see Dan folds. Well, of course he's gonna bet there. If you check second pair to somebody, they're gonna bet. Head all in. Oh, they got a ton of chop outs too. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a ton of chop outs. Thirty eight hundred total. Forty nine seconds left in the blind. I think Corey will call. Once he thinks about it, I think he's gonna call. Without seeing the action I'm You were right. I thought he would call. Ed takes it down. Doesn't even know that he folded the best hand. Best hand by far. Five tens. So that's six for the next hand. He's not like me there. He's not somebody that's seen there. Paul Moskowitz, king of fatalistic thinking. Raised to 2,500 by Corey. He's playing it. Like Michael, Michael I mean, you, yeah, you probably did. Corey, definitely the most aggressive at the table right now. I still can't believe it. Like Michael Dan pulled a top pair three-handed. And didn't even think about it. Yeah. Michael tonight was just trying to get in as many hands against... Uh, Corey to act first. Bobby and uh, Dan and Corey. And Colin Ray's. I see your greatest fan just posted awesome on their <laughs> Facebook page. You live with her. <laughs> I still can't believe he paid you off on the river. The I girl from Dan's closet posts on Facebook for us. He must have untied her hands before he left the house. Ed Fultz. Dan wins with deuces. Suited Dan Dag first. Take it easy, See Paul. Paul. Blinds are 600, 1200, 16 minutes, 22 seconds left in the blinds. like to see Ed raise the button here. I don't think Ed grasped that concept. Hey, Paulie. You're right. I'm number one in chips right now. I'm not going to do this. Just so you know. Is that out of anger? Yeah. Is he, he takes first at uh, in Medina, but then you do what you did and... Ed with sevens. I 
Corey with 7 8 suited. We might see Corey raise. See if we can get Corey here. make a raise there. I think we will. Yeah, we'll bet. I have the best hand. I know what Ed's what stack more? is, but he's probably going to show. Yeah, he's, he's I still would, pretty well. I would think Ed would show. 2800 is the bet by Corey. Oh, Ed is all in. Five thousand in hand order to Corey. Me? No, he did. Eight thousand total. Corey. <coughs> he called Corey's pre-flop raise. The board came nine high. He had eight nine and folded. Sixty-four hundred. Wow. Yeah, that's all for rotation. Corey to call. Well, I am. I mean, I don't. If you're calling with ace nine. Right, then you, you hit something. You got to. You got to yeah, play. You flop top pair, top kicker. Would. I mean, he must have thought he had a big pair or something down, which yeah. just doesn't make sense. But then, then you don't call the raise. Corey Hollywood, just a little. I think Corey's figuring out the math here to see if he's getting the right odds to call. And I, he's getting are those odds right? Roughly two to one. Yeah. I don't see Corey gambling here. Well, the good news is if he folds, I can take my half-hour drive home and still catch the end of this. Corey he folded. folded. Yep. All right, guys. See you next week. All right. We'll see you next week. It shows sevens. Better luck next time. Tony recaps his beer. Did he give it to you in the booth? for the hands to go off the screen here. Corey with an ace nine suited Dan with ducks. What's Ed got here? Ed with five six. Raised to 2,500 by Corey. Dan, super slight favorite here. Um, definitely a coin flip. Love to see Dan shove with Dan. I, I, that's what I was just going to say. Suited Dan calls. In this position, the, the play's to shove because Corey's got to fold. Just because of the chip stack Ed has. You know what I mean? Dan first to act. Action on Dan. The flop. It has about eleven thousand. All right, see you, kids. Dan's right around. See ya. That puts Corey right about ten also. Excuse me. Come on. Right now. Dan pushes. Great play. Definitely saying, look, kid, if you got it, come get it. Or he's just wondering if his ace is good. I'm just wondering why he would do it there and not do it pre-flop. If that flop comes nine six six, Corey's calling there. Snap calling. Yeah. Ten minutes fifty seconds Dan left, left in the blind. I feels a lot better about his hand right now that Corey's taking so. Oh long. yeah. <clears throat> he's still forty two percent. Cause he's got counterfeit outs. Corey calls. Ace nine. 
versus Deuces. See if Dane can survive. Ten, here. ace, nine. Could go runner, runner, pair. A lot of outs for Corey. And Dan. Deuces for uh, sixes. Third place. Dan takes Corey out with an really. unexpected play with Deuces. Massive chip lead here. Something like four to one. See how aggressive Dan's going to be. We still see Paul Moskowitz in the background. You all in first hand? Well, unless Ed gets lucky, it's going to be a short heads up battle. Ace on the flop here for Dan. And, and that with a does nine it. on the turn, Dan is game nine, season four winner. Ed Wergler in yeah. second place. That puts you in the first place. I think that I think that's our shortest heads up battle of the season. That was by far the shortest heads up match. Oh, that might be two good hands though. Was it two hands? One hand. Dan proclaiming his A six. That's good. A six suited, and you're putting me in. I'm putting your RC chips in. So, I mean, I, yeah, I don't think it's a bad move for you. So, yeah. Good game, guys. Paul. All right, that'll put uh, Suited Dan in first place next week. Followed closely behind by Corey. And beyond that, well, we just haven't done the math yet. So stay tuned. Uh, check ChaseTheBracelet.com, Facebook.com slash ChaseTheBracelet for an update on the points and standings. And we'll see you all again next week at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for game number 10 of season four. And don't forget to tune in next week. I'm pretty sure we're going to have a guest commentator, and we'll let you know next week. Have a good one.